In this demo, we're going to look at installing the Host Guardian service role on Windows Server 2019. So we start in the Server Manager. We go to Manage, Add Roles and Features, select Role-based or Feature-based installation, select SEA ADM1, click Next, select the Host Guardian service role, add all of the associated features with that role, Click Next. Verify those features are there. Click Next again. We get a warning about Active Directory domain services because a host guardian service does require its own separate forest. On the host guardian service page, we get a warning that if you want to run shielded virtual machines, you should install a minimum of three host guardian service servers. And after installing and initializing the role, the Active Directory domain services role is automatically installed and the server should be promoted to a domain controller in a separate Active Directory domain services forest. This is so that the forest that hosts a HGS role can't be impacted by security events that occur in the forest that hosts the virtual machines that the HGS is responsible for. On the web server role, we get information that web server is going to be installed. We see all those roles and features that will be installed and we click install. The installation process runs on SEA ADM1. A restart is required to complete the installation. So we right click on the start hint, select shutdown or sign out and then click restart. Click continue and the server restarts. We sign back on as Contoso Administrator. We start the Server Manager console. And we're alerted that we now need to promote the computer domain controller because the Active Directory domain services role has been installed as a part of installing the host guardian service role. Now here, because this is the first host guardian server in this environment, I should select add to a new forest, but I'm not actually going to go through that in this demo. I open up an administrative Windows PowerShell session and I use get command HGS to verify that all of the host guardian services commandlets are now present on this server. I clear the PowerShell window and I enter a PS session to SCA SVR1. Remember it said we needed three HGS servers. Well, what I'll do here is I'll use PowerShell to install a second host guardian service instance. I verify that HGS isn't installed by doing a get windows feature host. And I see that no, it's not present on this particular server. So I then run install windows feature, host guardian service role, host guardian, include management tools, and then force a restart. Those install, I just check that it's actually restarting. I get a, yes, it's going to restart. So I exit that remote PowerShell session. I clear the screen, and then I initiate a new remote PowerShell session. And PowerShell session connects. I now check whether or not those Windows features are actually installed for the host guardian service role. and those features are present, the host guardian service and Hyper-V support. Next, I can run get HGS trace, and this is a diagnostic utility that allows me to check whether or not the host guardian service is functioning properly. Obviously, in this case, we actually haven't configured a new forest environment and the domain controller and active directory environment to support the host guardian service. But when you're installing this role in your environment, you should use that get HGS trace command to load diagnostic information about the host guardian service role. So in this demonstration, you saw me install the HGS role using the server manager console and PowerShell on Windows Server 2019.